so we're gonna be doing a Q&A right here highly requested from you guys from the last Q&A that we did we got the man the myth the legend Tan Tang AK Pretty Rico! Oh man, I haven't heard that in, in years almost. Can you been stop saying it? Been a while, been a while. <laughs> but yeah, man, a lot of people want to know about you. A little, little mysterious, you know man, what I mean? you know, I don't really post on social media, so I mean, I get it, man, but I'm ready to answer these questions, man. I say Hot we get seat right, right here, it, hot seat. The questions are bananas, all right? It. Let's do you it. You guys submitted them on my IG. Huge shout out to you guys, some really good questions. I say we get into the first one, man. Let's get it, let's get it. Where did the foot fetish come from? Oh, stop it, man. Your boy mentioned that the, the girl had nice toenails one time, and y'all just go in and think nah, that foot fetish. Nah, it came up a lot, Tana. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It is came up way more than Look. we were expecting. This is a hot seat. You got an answer to the questions. I don't have a foot fetish. Gabe, you know what I'm talking about, man. They you said, y'all said I had a foot fetish. I don't. I didn't even get excited when y'all uh, talking about Lena's foot. He, he's denying it, guys. He's denying you. Know, you. When everyone's talking about Lena's foot and everything like that, I was like, what? We ain't nothing special about those things. Your boy, you know you were tingling inside. <laughs> Stop it. All right, all right. That, wasn't, oh that wasn't even a question. That was not even a question. Come on, man. All right, so first one up. What is the biggest risk you had committing to YouTube with Rich? Mmm, that is a good one. That is a good one. To be very it's been honest, honest. Been a bit of crazy journey. I'm sure. even trying to bring myself back to when you started. What are the we, whole we thing. seven years in? Six, seven, Something like a that. while now. Go ahead, go ahead. Look, before YouTube and Instagram was popping, I had no idea what direction I wanted to go in life. You was getting, you was you know, holding it down in, in LA with the Fung Bros, came up here and you were like, you know what? Hop on the channel and let's just talk shoe sneakers. And at the, at that time, I was like, man, I don't know. That's, that's a big risk because I I had lined up. I had the UPS thing going on. Oh my on. goodness, I forgot you were about I, to be a, tell him, tell, 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 you were about to go the, the Filipino route, the Filipino uh, route. Uh, all my brother-in-law, <laughs> they were definitely into the whole UPS thing. And they oh my goodness influenced gracious, me to get into bro. it. How come not FedEx and UPS? Oh, come on. I can't even picture come you in, on. The, in the brand. If I had to compare FedEx and UPS, FedEx is like your Boost Mobile. <laughs> Okay, oh, wow. UPS is like a T-Mobile. I Come see on, what you're saying. Man. All right, all right. So you I'm were just kidding. You're I don't even know that. Really <laughs> so you were about to join the Brown. I was going to join the Brown. I was literally less than one day. I did a whole one week school almost. Yeah, I to saw become that. a driver. Basically, passed on the way driving back to the hub. I hit a branch, Bruh. like a hanging tree Boy, on the road. That was a branch from God, bro. I was devastated, Rich. But you're right. Cause till this day, I do thank that branch, man. Cause it basically made you fail it the pivot, test, right? It failed the I failed the test. I got disqualified, and I was shocked. I was like, bro, every UPS driver hits the damn. If you look at a UPS driver's truck on the side mirror, it's all dented up, scratched up. So I don't know, man. I thank that branch till this day, cause it literally pivoted me to kind of just reset my whole life and just kind of like you reevaluate and really kind of ask myself, what do you really want to do? I'm and that's so kind of where you came in. I'm so, I'm so glad you, uh, you're you not a UPS driver, man. You would be delivering our packages right now. That is very it true. I mean, insane, don't get me bro. wrong. They getting paid. <laughs> I know they are getting paid. Benefits crazy. We don't got no damn benefits out here. That's very we true. <laughs> that is very true. But I would not trade that life for this. You know, That's and uh, like I said, that biggest risk was part stability, you know, the security. So Why is your seat so high, man? Come on, stop know. playing. You're not that tall, bro. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm over here like, hey, Dan. All right, so no, uh, but, um, man, super glad you didn't do the whole P UPS route. Yeah, you've touched so many lives as far as being on the channel that and is crazy talking your about. talk and giving your value. So I think I would like to say and talk for the people when I say we appreciate you. I you appreciate I mean? it, man. But but just to answer this question for real, I would say besides the risk of stability and security, it was more like I had doubts. Doubts. I had doubts. Is like, oh, will I not, be accepted on the who's channel? Who's not gonna have their doubts, man? You know. So no. Nah, but overall, though, best decision I made. And obviously, you know, oh, can we get into that real quick? That is actually a one question? of the questions. Where did the name Pretty Rico come from? Bruh. You're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I no. added that. No. You're ugly. I, see, right, I see comments like that, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, we've seen it all, man. Back in the day, first of all, I was the one rocking the perm first. Remember when I did the perm the first time? It was the hard broccoli perm. Oh, you did it like real, real <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jerry yeah, yeah. curl perm. And we were in Vegas with the boys. For some reason, I thought, you know, it was one of my first times being in Vegas. I thought you had to dress like really, really, you know. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Crazy, you know, up there, you know, suited and booted. I had the whole suit going on. Everyone else didn't. And we were chilling outside one of the clubs. And all the other promoters thought that I was a promoter. What? 
So they're like, where's your, where's your, <laughs> where's your crew at? And the whole, all the guys are calling me pretty Rico the whole night because I got us in the club with my suit and my perm on. So they just kind of dubbed you that name. You played the part. You played the part. I played the part. And then we did a whole makeover with the Fung Bros one time in the video. And then they kind of dubbed that for me. And, and it, it stuck. It stuck. It you stuck know? and it went away. I'll tell you that. And it went away. You're Don't got the perm no more. Not Definitely not pretty anymore. But that was so funny that. I basically got us in Damn, a Vegas club because I look like a promoter. That's a wearing good one. That's a good one. With a perm. That's a good one. That's so, a good one. What's next? Oh, what's this next? one right here. So it was worded differently. I'm just wording it nicely. Do you ever think that Johnny is going to get genuinely mad at you? Oh. Originally it was worded. Do you think Johnny gonna slap your ass? Bruh. <laughs> I've, I've had DMs. Of, Yo, there's times where I'm like, hey, bro, you gotta chill, man. He's look really. Here gonna get i get it you know? i get it because and these comments still i still get dms i still get Some comments people get really mad at you look here go ahead go ahead to defend myself me and johnny are actually best friends they are like they are. you i think people were surprised in our vegas vlog to actually see us hanging out bruh I was like, like what johnny you guys don't is know like this day now? one till the grave that guy is like more than a brother to me like we're best friends and look i get it i do poke fun of him but he pokes fun at me as well He's the whole reason why I got braces. He used to make fun Terrence, of that gap. I would I would like to say, you know, from a friend perspective, yours is on a whole nother level, bro. <laughs> oh. like, there is no damn way you would fight him over what he says to you. And there is some Look here. reasoning for him to put your ass in the Look here. De de definitely. But because we're <laughs> best friends and we have almost like... <laughs> Hey, 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 an agreement in a way. <laughs> you know, like, hey, you already know, yeah, man. When right, you have friends right. like that, you could poke fun at them. That is true. Further than anyone could even, like, you, like, you know, compare, you like so. teeter totting on the line. Oh, I, that's, I that's the fun part. That's the fun part. That's the fun part. So it is hilarious. Oh, all the man. all the big guys out there, there's some times where they wanted to oh, man. kill you, bro. Sometimes I feel like when I poke fun at him, I poke fun at y'all, like the big boys and all that. But really, it's just between me. In him. Johnny, you know, just make that clear. Make just that to clear. make that clear, man. All right, all right, all right. But uh, do I ever get worried? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you my Filipino? Guy, what were you doing in Cebu when I oh, saw you, bro? Bro, first of all, I'm not Filipino. I was born there. Okay. But uh, you know, Cambodian, uh, a little bit of Chinese. Maybe that's why they probably think I look Filipino in a way. Yeah. But Cebu, first time going there, visiting there with a bunch of family. Cebu is kind of random. It's not really Manila. Manila yeah, is more. It like, is a random at, to see. They're probably like, you know what? it's still a big you know city and all that. But I was in a random mall. It wasn't even one of the main malls, and that's how I knew that we was popping. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we was international. We global. There's one time I was walking in like literally Denver, Colorado, in a random you know one of those bust down malls. Yeah. That sell lingerie and shit. Uh, oh. Stop. And a fan came up to me. I was like. And, oh my god. And this is not even part of like the demographic of like the, the viewers. <laughs> the viewers. You know? so, I was like, this is what's up. But man. no, I mean I was in Cebu, probably drinking on like a mango shake. And That's uh That's and a, a fan literally was like, bro, in chanelas and all that tank top on. Shout out to Dark man. Shout out to came and just like was like, bro, I appreciate watch you guys all the time. And I'm like, so That's you're not crazy. Filipino. You're not Filipino. No, no, not Filipino though. But I, I mess with the Filipinos though for sure. What is the biggest sneaker regret that you've Ooh. ever had? We've done a lot of sneaker stuff on the bruh, channel, bruh. selling, buying. We got the store, we Look got here. everything. What what is the biggest I, I, sneaker? I got, regret? I got a two part to this question right go ahead, here. Go ahead, the go first ahead. one is definitely the fragments because oh, you sold that's them for dumb cheap. 350 maybe 400 bucks what? for a textbook. It was a <sighs> right? Was Some it for like, a oh yeah 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 you're right you're right. For a textbook. But, I didn't anyway, use that textbook. That's I'm crazy. saying it was more about it was one of my favorite shoes um it grew to be one of my favorite shoes. It, yeah. But to be honest, one of my biggest regrets is now that I think back at it was selling the Red Octobers mm. that you nah. love, and they were size I eight and a half. I don't even want to hear this story because I'm still low key, a little, a little salty about it. A little salty about I it. I feel you, more you so still... bad about it because. All right, tell them the story though. They don't okay. really know. They don't really know. They don't really know. I had bought a pair. It was my first risk, almost like my first investment in shoes. I think I spent like eighteen hundred or twenty two hundred on a pair of Red Octobers, brand new size eight and a half. At the time, it Crispy. was a little bit kind of expensive. But, I would still have the photo of me trying them on at your house when you, I visited bruh. back in Seattle. And my biggest regret about those was you like were almost begging me to hold them for you till you just came up or just had some money and I wasn't willing to do the whole layaway thing. And it was more so like I regret 
choosing like money and, bad and friend, coming up bad and friend. not holding it for you. And at the time, like I didn't have a job. You really. know they have the bad boys, bad years. <laughs> bad, bad friend. friend. And bad I admit, friend. I was a bad what friend. What you gonna do? I regret, and and that's why you know I, I try to do so well for the channel. You know, I try to make <laughs> oh, in, in certain How much in you other ways. For? I think I bought a soda for like 28 or something I, like yeah, that. I remember coming, hey, Ted, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to cop them things. Oh, like, bro, I saw them already. Uh, uh, you know, no. and uh, yeah, I just, I just, you know, yeah, my first, I risked it all. That's, that's part of sneaker culture, though, like them them stories, you know? You yeah. gotta, you're not a real sneakerhead unless you have stories Trust about me now. selling to your friends and regretting little, not little, little, now, 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 money, money, money still means something, but it might not mean as much. You, you going to buy me a pair? If I see something that has some value and I could have, I could flip it, I would definitely want to sell it to you for a deal versus trying to flip and make that quick buck. But at the time, your brother just, you know, I, I, I invested all my money. You got a little bit of closure to that story. <laughs> I, I, I invested all my money. All my money I had. I, I don't want to hear I the reasoning, bro. I couldn't it's afford not, to hold them. Still trying to explain yourself. <laughs> hey, all hey, right. hey, hey, to be fair, you came back a few years later and asked for them. It wasn't like you came to <laughs> me. Uh, two weeks from you now. You see what I'm saying? He'll he'll apologize and then now he'll justify it. All right. Hey, you guys tell me what y'all would have done with that situation. Okay. He came back three years when he was popping on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> these are fun though. These are fun. I'm, I'm yeah, down yeah. to do more of these. A part two, part three, part four. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments below if you guys enjoy the Q and A's, talking about the you know the guests on the channel that we've had and getting to know them a little bit more. Sure. Shout out to Tan. Uh, let us know your favorite memory on the channel. I want to see that in the comments below. That would be oh, really dope, you know, uh, kinda, including me, Jan Johnny, Tan, or whatever yeah. we've done, you know. There's some funny moments. I got man. a few. I got a few that they're going to bring up. The whole, what? the whole, uh, you what? know. Oh, <laughs> no, never, all you had to do is this. Never mind. If you guys know, you guys know. All you had to do is exactly. this. Exactly. The, 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 the goji berries. The goji berries. <laughs> oh, this is going to be like that, boy. It's a walnuts, okay? It's a walnuts. It's a All right. Anyways. All right. Peace. Peace.